six gallon contents on this side, 20 gallon contents over on this side. See what these do? They can't fit in this 20 gallon anymore. All right, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm emptying this 75 gallon. I took the live rock. I have the heater in here and I'm putting everything inside here. This is a 50 gallon or 44 gallon, so I need to get the other containers to hold most of this water. And my bro's coming over in a little bit. I'm gonna remove this. I already got the computer and stuff off. This is going down here temporarily. And then we're gonna move the tank up here. I put some trusses in here on either side. You can see one here, it goes back. This is firm. If you look underneath, this is a very sturdy, well-built solid oak table. So I'm not really concerned about this holding the weight. Most of the weight will be on the ends and the weight will distribute down the legs. It's not gonna distribute in the center as much as it is on the legs. So that's the strongest area and that's why I've reinforced from any kind of shaking. This isn't moving anywhere. All right. As you can see here, I just have these rocks resting on each other. Now what I'm gonna do is take them out and use the cement to cement them together in a position that I feel aesthetically will look good. The 20 gallon piece will go in there and the six gallon will come over here. So let's take these out and I'll start cementing them. These blocks are merely two support the structure. I want to go out. I don't want everything to be on the bottom glass. I'm going to mix up the E Marco cement. I add this contents with the cement and I mix it up and you'll see what that looks like. What I have in here is salt water. I'll spray it down if I think I need to. All right, ready to get going. What I'm going to do is place some on here because I know that's where it was. All right, let's let it dry and see what it looks like. That's kind of a cool shot of the studio coming down the hall. Here's the pump for the skimmer. I have the electrical right here. I move the ATO over, and this is the reservoir for the skimmer down below. And there you have it. That's it. And this is coming out soon. Man, this is big. All right. As long as I don't bump it on anything. Look at that, guys. See, it's resting now, not wobbling. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, I'm not gonna mess with it. Just so you know, six gallon contents on this side, 20 gallon contents over on this side. So it's gonna be three separate islands, but kind of closer together with the room behind and on the sides, and I am getting sand. So I'm gonna put some sand down in the middle. It's gonna be nice. Drying up. All right. And see, not too much residue. See the reflection of the 10? What I wanted to show you is not so much residue. If you let the cement dry, a lot of it doesn't come off. I've used this cement before and put it in within 15 minutes and more of the cementaceous stuff comes off and floats in the water, but it's still quite clear. For you new guys, you wanna keep the bottom free of live rock as much as possible. 
So you can see it's only touching in this one area and because I cemented them on the sides like this, it balances it so I don't need any support on the ends. And some nice sand coming up in here around there. It's gonna look nice. All right, pretty cool, right? Last look at the old six.